Hello Gravely fans, Roger here again. We're going to take a look at a high-low planetary assembly. I'm putting this little clip together for a guy named Franklin. He just couldn't begin to understand why orbit gears have to be timed to the sun gear. An orbit gear is a compound gear, two gears in one. I don't know if it makes any difference to anyone. There's 12 teeth on the inside. There's 21 on the outside. What I've done here is remove this little retainer spacer so that we could play with the orbit gears. Timing orbit gears with timing marks. All three marks straight to the center. This is known as a rear ring gear. It would normally fit over the orbits like so. Everything turns nice and smooth. This little fellow is a drive pinion shaft from an engine. This would be this would be the fly front flywheel right here. This would be right in the uh, that bronze bushing in the front case. This would be in the rear of the, of the high low planetary, just like so. Well, everything turns nice and smooth. That's the way it should work. Now, Frank said, I don't understand why you can't take one of these and put it out of time. So we'll put it out of time just a little bit, I hope. There. Let's see if that, yep, that's off some. Well, it still works just great. I don't know what the problem is. Shouldn't be any problem whatsoever. Now you go to put the engine back in, and it's there, but it's just locked up there. I've got close to locking up. So let's take our play gear, move it once again. That's on. That's off. Now I can't even get the engine engaged. There it is. But it's really nasty because the gears aren't oh, just locked up. This would freeze up the whole assembly. Well, what happened, Frank? These three gears are identical. And they must march around to the same tune. We get one guy playing to a different drummer. Things just don't want to mix anymore. It's not hard to time them if you got some marks. If you don't have timing marks, it'd be awful nice. I mean, you, you wouldn't you wouldn't take these apart normally. You'd never remove this ring, take the thing, the gears off the pins. The only reason you would remove them is if the gears wobbled on the pins, then you got to replace some bushings. So if you never took it apart, you'd never bring it out of time. If you did take it apart, you got to bring it back in time. So you got it back together. You have an older model with unmarked gears. You say, how am I going to get it going? Well, you bring two out, bring one out, get two going. It's pretty good. And you slowly until it goes back together. Guess what? I just happened to drop it in time. I hope you can get him to see it, Frank. Now, I only threw one gear out of time. And that, that works right there, but I may have. Funny thing about these gears, if you check, there's a way of checking to see if the valley of the big gear matches the valley of the small gear. That's a timing mark. Well, there happens to be three of them on there. So I may have put it close, close enough to another timing mark to let it run. But you could see it had never run there. It would never go together. Or if I did get it in, let's see if it's in time. Not too bad.
I have two in time. So, yep, they're all three in time. I just lucked out. I put it in a timing spot. There are, as I said, because of the way it's set up, there's this spot which I marked, but there could also be two other spots that are in time. And anywhere in between the, t the spots is out of time. That's when you may run into where you can't can't even get the engine installed much less right there there's that's out of time can't even get the engine installed and if you did it would never turn I hope I made some sense to you Frank when they all march to the same tune things work thanks